Desperate times may require desperate measures. Who am I kidding? It's late February. The temperature today is going to be about 70. Miriam has uh, got some availability this morning before she does her afternoon thing, uh, which is really causing some scheduling problems. But anyway, she said, let's go for a ride. Where? Let's go grab breakfast and go to a nice place and have breakfast and ride back. So, we're getting the spider out today. Today's not about the food, it's about the journey, right? <laughs> You're right. It's well, an excuse to go somewhere. Yeah. And hoping we don't get any liquid sunshine, but we should well, be... Well, we might get a little bit. That's why I'm wearing all the... We're wearing the gear I'm wearing. I'm wearing moisture-wicking pants, and I'm wearing my motorcycle pants. Get a chance to get them on. Feels good. I haven't had them on since, uh, gosh, since the meetup back in the summer. Yeah, it does feel a bit like a holiday. Hmm, I hope you don't need a new battery. Well, if I do, I do. But I just put that one in there. Did you? Yeah. Well, maybe it just needs to get its juices flowing. Well, it's been on the trickle charger. That's what on the on the battery maintainer, not the trickle charger. Hmm. What uh, what did you do with our sandwiches? They're in the trunk. Oh, good. Your uh, brakes are awfully squeaky too. I've tried putting uh, axle grease on the uh, brake rotors, and that doesn't seem to work. And you should go. You should hit me for even saying. <laughs> that means, oh, they won't work after you put actual grease on them, that's for sure. Well, this is one of those uh, uh, gems of a, a winter day. It's going to be 75 degrees here this afternoon. Yeah. So we're taking a, a morning ride because um, I'm still working part-time with my uh, elderly ladies. I have two now, so uh, I need to... Uh, get over there by 12:30 this afternoon, but uh, it just feels good to be outside. Yeah. And it's um, it it's still February. But when this comes out, it'll be March, of course. But uh, you know, when you have days like this in February, you just need to savor them. Yes. And we always know we get periods like this in February. It's called a, a vacation break. Winter vacation. Yeah, it's just God being easy on Southerners who don't like the cold. <laughs> yeah. But, now we've got a lot of things coming up in in March. Of course. Pray tell. Pray tell. <laughs> of course, this year you announced that you were no longer celebrating your birthday. So that I'm done. So this weekend we're not celebrating you. We're celebrating your mother. Opal, okay. whom I, nev that. I never had a chance to meet, unfortunately, but I've heard a lot well, of stories. Well, I think she's uh, one of the reasons we got to meet. I think something was orchestrated behind the scenes. But. <laughs> yeah, I think so, too. I think she uh, partnered up with our mutual friend who died way too early of cancer. Yeah. We, we didn't stand a chance against, against the two of them. Yep. <clears throat> But anyways, we're going to have a, a nice uh, dinner Friday, and then we're going to have a, a nice lunch on Saturday, and uh, Katie is coming home with her partner and their dog. Oh, see it for what it is, boyfriend. <laughs> we, we hope... I know that's politically incorrect nowadays, but tough. Boyfriend just sounds short-term. I'm hoping this is more long-term, but it's not anything official yet, so I don't know what to call him. Significant other? That sounds very sterile. 
Uh, being a, uh, a military veteran myself, uh, I was surprised to learn that uh, my stepdaughter is uh, dating a former United States Marine. Uh, although I was never Marine and never had a desire to be a Marine, I have great respect uh, for those who did serve in that capacity. I was Air Force, and before you guys who served in the other branches go on about it being, oh, it's a civil service job. Well, I was one of the few people in the Air Force that went to work every day carrying a loaded assault rifle. So, it wasn't a civil service job for me. It was a few lifetimes ago, huh? Oh, uh, you know, at the time I had no idea how much pride I would take in the, uh, what I did and the simple things I did. You know, so many other people do the same thing. Uh, they serve their country. Um, but not only did I serve the country, it, it's, it served me. Uh, the founder of Black, one of the founders of Black Rifle Coffee, who was an Army Ranger, wrote a book. And the title of it was, Thank You for My Service. Because he was grateful for the opportunity that he had to serve and the skill sets uh, and the relationships uh, he developed during his tour of duty and you know I have the same thing uh, the skill sets that I learned I had no idea I was learning such valuable skill sets and uh, I, I think it molds us into who we are all the all our experiences that's just nice to see signs of spring yeah we have a, a few things blooming in our yard right now which is kind of cool the um, camellias and the daffodils and the Linton roses yeah. and uh, it did crack me up to see the squirrel run through the yard with a camellia blossom in his mouth yeah. <laughs> I didn't know they ate those well maybe it was a tough year <laughs> or maybe they're they're like a delicacy I don't know So one of the common questions we get, and it comes in many forms, is uh, the spider. Is it a good value? Well, that is a complicated question, and I will answer it the best way that I can. First of all, I will defer to my partner in crime, Miriam. When somebody <laughs> says and asks you, the spider, hey, they're not cheap. Is it worth it? What would you say? Oh, well, it's, you know, it's, it's a rhetorical question. Yes, of course it's worth it. We've, we've gotten a lot of like, hours and hours and hours of enjoyment out of it. And it's, yeah. it's taken us places. It's, it's helped us uh, meet people we, we wouldn't have met otherwise. Yeah. Uh, it um, has given us wind therapy. It's, uh, yeah, there's no, uh, you know, no no hesitancy no question you know when we when we first bought it because we were still recovering from sending two children to college <laughs> you know it was like oh you know should we really take this on but I'm, I'm glad we did yeah you know I have, have been being a pilot and an airplane owner uh, I know how much joy and incredible sense of satisfaction uh, being a pilot and flying my own airplane uh, twice and when I because of circumstances compelled me to have to stop flying it was uh, it was heartbreaking and uh, I still long uh, to be able to do that again although I mean I oh there's some standing water up here had I really tried I probably could but it's you know you got to prioritize it's like you can do anything you want in life. You just can't necessarily do everything you want to do in life. All at the so, same time, yeah. Yeah, so... Well, and, it, and we would have been limited in how much flying we could do together. So, you know, yeah. that's the other thing. It's, it's something that we can enjoy together, and I think that's, that's really important. Yeah, it's an investment, but, you know, if you, if you boil it down to the essence of what you spend money for uh, the necessities in life are clearly food clothing shelter 
And in a modern society, uh, you have to have transportation, communications, and healthcare. And, and those are the basics. You need to be able to ensure that you're able to fund those things uh, throughout for your life. But beyond that, I think there are things you need to be able to fund to enjoy life. If not, what's the purpose of having the food, clothing, shelter? So the sense of satisfaction uh, is far... Oh yeah, enjoying the uh, the weather. The sense of satisfaction is so overwhelming, and I know there's a time that it's probably that we will not have a spider in our life, and I know I'm going to miss that. And uh, so every time I get on it, it's like a renewed love affair. Nothing personal, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's it's. An incredible feeling and something that I will relish for the rest of my living days as far as travel accomplishments is that you and I took this thing from the East Coast to the California coast in 22 and by the way there's an entire video series on that folks so I'll put the link up above <laughs> called Asphalt Odyssey that's where the uh, Asphalt Odyssey 22 lap around America that's anyway so I know that when the time comes that I won't have a spider to ride that I will regret it, but I'll have those memories, and that's what we're doing. Uh, as, a, as a wise philosopher once said, whose name was C.W. McCall, uh, life is just a collection of memories. And memories are like starlight. They go on forever. But you know, um, we have a viewer, and I'll, I'll say his name because I, I love when he writes a comment on every video. It just uh, warms my heart, but Bill Williams, he is in his 90s, and he is still riding. Not only is he riding his spider, he's bicycling also. So That's probably why he's able to ride his spider. <clears throat> so, John, it, it's possible that the day when we can't ride a spider never comes. I mean, I hope that should be a goal, you know? Okay. Well, oh, oh, gosh. It's like a lake up here. Duh. Oh, we're not going there. Well, it doesn't look very no. deep. Well, I don't want to get out there and find how deep it is. I do not want to find out the hard way if the spider floats. <laughs> okay. I didn't realize we'd had that much rain. This has been enjoyable. It, it uh, has been a while and it feels good to be back in the saddle and uh, looking forward to spring coming and doing more of this kind of thing. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so we got the big trip in June coming up. Yep, down the Key West. Yeah. We'll probably have some little excursions and then we're, we're planning to go to um, the Maggie Valley uh, spider rally in October. Yeah, I'll put the dates up here somewhere. So, uh, kind of, it's a, at the foot of the Smoky Mountains. Yeah. A nice, uh, a nice gathering. We were there a couple of years ago. Uh, and there was a hurricane, it. so hopefully there yeah. won't be a hurricane this time. Yeah. <laughs> we got kind of damp on the way out. Uh, yeah. So, 
I guess we're going to get this thing back to the barn. I'm going to put the meter on the uh, battery and see what I can tell with that. And uh, we're going to wind up the video. Anything yep. else? Nope. Nope. That's right. it. Well, Have a great week. We'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our travel-related content, just check out the rest of our channel. And don't forget to subscribe.